Hello to all you Siren fans on YouTube. This is FS Thunderbolt Fan 1000 here. It is Saturday. It is about 11:12. Campbell's Port tests at noon. Let's get on the road. All right, so we're driving here. We're running a little bit late. I couldn't find my sunglasses. I thought they were upstairs in my room, but they were not. So now we're trying to make up a little bit of time. So it's a 45-minute drive. But well, we left just in about the nick of time out. Really know quite how exactly long it's gonna take, and my phone almost went through the crevice right there. But yeah, so we are driving. We don't need gas this time, filled up last night. So yeah, we're going to the Cyclone in Campbellsport, and then we are going to the Banshee 110 in Lamira. So let's hope Dodge County tests this time, because I know when Tommy BNSF went to Lamira that Dodge County didn't test that time so keep our fingers crossed and uh, we'll keep you updated once we get there
So it sounds like the Model 2 does three minutes of alert, while this one just does like a noon test for good reason. The Cyclone 125 is pretty loud, and we're in a pretty much residential neighborhood, and if you can't tell, this is by a bunch of houses. So I think the Model 2 does three minutes of alert, and then the 2001 I didn't really hear it over by the school. But we're going to head that way next because we're going to Elmira right now. So if you guys couldn't tell, that was a pretty eventful way there. Over by uh, 57 there by Plymouth, some lady decided to quick slow down because she was going to miss her turn. So then that caused me to have to jam on my brakes and a bunch of other people. So all the equipment went down there. It's my turn. This is a school where the 2001's at. You might be able to see it over the top. It's on the back side there. We're going to stop and take pictures later because Lamira is a 16 minute drive and we don't want to chance her like I chanced this one. And then I also missed my turn because I didn't really know where Spring Street was. And I ended up finding it just in time. We got there. It was all good. So that was pretty crazy. We're nine miles out at this point here. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. Yeah, so it sounds like the Model 2 does three minutes of alert. I tried getting that in at the end there, but I wasn't sure if that was a siren or not. Shortly after I turned off, you guys stayed on the whole time. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear that. But the uh, I turned off the uh, Canon camera because, number one, I got a save whatchamacallit, space, and number two, I wasn't sure how long it was going to go on for, and I could always just, like, turn you guys off whenever. So, yeah, now we're heading to Lamira, Banshee 110, hopefully they test. Yeah, the scanner was a little screwed up at first because it took a pretty hard tumble, but I pushed in the screen better, and now it works again, so... We'll chalk that one up as a win, too. Okay, another thing that happened was, over by... When you get on from F to 67, kind of by Dundee there, past Dundee, you guys fell off. So if it's a little skippy right there in the time lapse, that's why. And that cyclone, something seemed funky about it. Must be on like 208 or something because it took a bit to get up to speed. It sounded like it wasn't reversed wired. But that cyclone wasn't as punchy as a lot of them, like the last one. So I think I was too close and the, a lot of the sound was going over me, which is fine by me because it's pretty loud anyways. So either way, you guys will get the gist. Hopefully you like the video. The, the siren was a little bit off center in the middle, from the middle, because I didn't want a chance missing it. So I got it the best I could. So you, it's a little off center, but hopefully you guys can make do with that. There hasn't been a like high quality recording of the cyclone there yet and plus that will probably be the first one to get replaced out of all of them because the 2001 was installed and in, I think 2005 there's photos of it online being installed I'll put that in the link in this description to this video and not the cyclone one I'll just put in the link to this one's description I don't know when the model 2 was installed but it sounds it I don't know if you guys can hear in this video like I said but it sounds like it was single tone so my guess is it's a newer 2001. That's supposed to be over by the baseball parks over there. Yeah, so in the upcoming months, we'll probably come back for the 2001, the Model 2, and then we'll do the 2 for in Lamira again. Then we, I don't know what time West Bend tests. I think it's noon. So that way we can also hit up Hartford at 12.30. So either way, I try to do the 2 for to get the most out of my gas month, gas going down and back because it's usually a 40-minute drive from Sheboygan because Sheboygan County tests it every other Wednesday at 11 and I'm still in school so so I can't really record those so I gotta travel out Matawak I got pretty much everything there except for a lot of the RMs but that's a job for a different day I'm not sure if I told you guys this but I'm also going to the tech college up in Green Bay so for firefighting fire, fire medic because most of you guys know I'm already a firefighter and EMT so uh, I'm hoping that I can go up there for the uh, schedule my classes that I can get off Wednesdays at noon or have my lunch break be at that time for a reasonable amount of time so that way I can get most of Green Bay's system recorded too so you guys have a lot of videos coming your way in the next week, upcoming year here not quite sure what town this is doesn't look like they have a siren I've been kind of like keeping my eyes peeled but yeah whatever so I'll update you guys once we get back to Lamira there yeah so they said it was gonna be a 19 minute drive yeah no so, that's whatever. So, uh, Banshee 110's right there. 
I think I should probably take some better photos because last time I came it was like December 23rd to the other screamer. I don't think the photos turned out that great of this siren, so I'm going to take some better quality photos. We got a blue sky, sun's in a good spot. So, I'm going to get out and take some photos. We got some time to kill here. Okay, guys, so we're all set up. Got this one zoomed in pretty much perfectly this time. Thank you very much. So this video will be better. I think this is their old water tower because there's a new one just down the road. Maybe it's still being used, I don't know. And the tone's cranked up a bit because I know these ones are pretty sl quiet. This is DTMF too, so... It's only 25 right now. Yep, so I'll update you as the time gets closer here. Hey, I was wondering if you guys will be testing the tornado sirens today? Okay, sweet. Thank you very much. Bye.
Well, we're here. Sorry about that long video. I had to call in and, as you could hear, and ask when they're going to test the sirens. But since we're here, here's a little history about this siren. This siren was a used to be located on a building that was somewhere in this area. Don't really know where, but it was torn down and it was since put on this pole. The Lamira sirens used to be activated by a telephone relay, as you can see on this box there. But what happened was the uh, sirens would go off without anyone knowing and whatever because they were accidentally activated. So then eventually, earlier last year in September, they were upgraded to one-way FCs. And this was done by Emergency Communication Systems of Freedom, Wisconsin. Most of Lemire's sirens were not actually bought from ACA or a... How should I say this? W.S. Darley was an ACA dealer, but... They rebranded the sirens as W.S. Darley's sirens. So that's what this one is. Yes, it is an ACA Banshee 110, but it was rebranded and bought through W.S. Darley Co. Like the Screamer down there, that was a W.S. Darley one, and then the Model 2 is a Darley Model 2 over there. And Darley has dealt for a number of companies, such as Federal, ACA, and now Century. So, yeah, that's basically the inside of Lamira sirens here. Okay, so we're back in Campbellsport. Got the 2001 SRNB there. So, yeah, pretty cool. Take some photos of this one now. Okay, guys, so if you can see, there's the 2001 SRN, like I said earlier, and it's got the newer style FCs on it. Well, newer style federal panels. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was having a hard time focusing camera's having a hard time focusing so I didn't really get any good photos of the panels on it which is kind of a bummer but hey what can you do camera's about to die too so that's also taking a turn for the worst but I can also take the batteries out of the scanner should worse come to worse so yep on to the cyclone after screwing around for like 20 minutes I finally got the stupid camera to focus over here at the cyclone so now we're gonna head over to the model 2 by the baseball field I think it is that way I guess. Uh, we're not on a time crunch. I, just, I can guess and try and figure out how to get there because then I can get to know the town a little bit better. Or whatever. So, we'll see when we get there. So I found the Model 2. It's by the DPW over here. It's out in the boonies. I don't know if you can see it over there. So it's not really at the park. It's kind of over by the DPW over there. So we're going to try and get in the baseball field over there and see if we can get a good photo of it. I know this is going to sound crazy, you guys, but guess how many photos I took of that Model 2. A whole one photo, because the camera wouldn't focus that well, so I was able to just quick snap one, and I think it'll turn out okay. It's a newer Model 2, so my guess is it went in the same time as the 2001. So we'll be back to record that one. Yeah, I was right, it's kind of out in the boonies, so no wonder it does 3 minutes alert compared to the cycle, and that just does like a 30 second to a minute test so yeah off to Beachwood for to see what type of siren they have another quick PSA for all you people we're in Dundee here they do not have a siren so like anything you see on a map is wrong there is no siren in Dundee they do not have any sirens I thought I'd just quick throw that in here while I'm here so Yep, that's pretty much it. I don't even think they have a fire department or nothing. But if you look, this whole deal was on Extreme Home Makeover like a couple years back. By a couple, I mean probably about 10 years ago. I think I was about 8 at the time, so yeah. About 10 years ago, they were on Extreme Home Makeover. I forget what the deal was, what the f dad had. I think the dad died, and then he was like trying to restore the mill, so they restored the mill and then built him a new house. So yeah. I think that was 2007 actually yeah that seems about right 2007 that's when that was so a little more history for y'all all right guys we're in Beechwood the model 5 that was back there is gone and they have a new T-121 so that's a little crazy I didn't think it was gonna be a newer siren like that but hey anything goes I guess you know right so yeah that is pretty much it for the day Found that out, got pictures of all the sirens, went and recorded some sirens. So I think that concludes the end of today's episode of Behind the Sirens. Thanks for watching, you guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.